Welcome to Spave Up Garage. My name is Jack, and today we're doing a little bit of a different video on the Ranchero. We're doing a long video, and today we're gonna get this thing cleaned up so we can finally take our first test drive. So we're gonna pull all this out, make it just bare metal because we don't want all that falling in our eyes. And then let's clean up some of the loose carpet and vacuum it out. Here's AJ's here. Uh -huh. And then I think we'll just power wash the whole thing and get it all cleaned up for our first drive. All right, let's just start ripping things down. And I wanna thank some of our viewers sent me these glasses and these gloves. So thank you if you're watching this video for sending all this to keep me safe. Most of the gunk pulled off of the headliner. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this carpet and this piece back here. I think I'm going to take this piece of cardboard out today and then pull what I can of the carpet without pulling the seat for now. But eventually, we're going to have to pull the whole seat and pull all this carpet because this stuff is just nasty. Yeah, there's just a lot of trash back here. Looks like the carpet's still bad. A lot of trash sitting around here, but this is, I'm gonna clean all this trash out and then I think I'm gonna pull this piece of wood. It's just a few Phillips and then pull that piece of cardboard out. It looks like this is that back seats. Before you stir all that carpet up, I need to have one of these on. Well, I found more rust. Ugh. Back to work. I just pulled this cake plate and look at what the carpet used to look like. Nice black carpet. Not, now it looks like that. Watch this. There's dirt in there. That's so much dirt. Yeah, that came out from me pulling that. I don't think this car's ever been vacuumed. Oh, well, it's about to get it. Dad, I think this vacuum is broken. Hey, let me see it. We got it unclogged. <laughs> For the most part, I got everything cleaned up, everything vacuumed. And now we're going to try to pull the seat. I started to mess with it on this side. I got this side unbolted. Now we can go over to this side. Hey, Dad, can you come help me? Need a camera van? Yeah. I think the bolts are right under here. Those right there. 
So I'm gonna try to get those out. I thought that heat would be way harder to get out. I didn't see, usually the bolts are in the top side and you gotta push them out. Butterfinger. Alright, let's hit that one time. Pretty much got all the carpet. There's a lot more gunk under the seat. It's like the road map. Oklahoma. Something. And then there's the Butterfinger wrapper. It's an old one. It's a lot of, all the trash. Here's your uh, crank handle for your window knob. Oh, yeah. I think it's toast. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get back to vacuuming. Gladly, there's not that much rust on the ore pans up here, except back here. You can see right through the car. There's my exhaust. That's not good. That's your steering wheel. <sighs> This too, probably. Yeah. Looking nice and clean. Now we gotta clean out off the seat. I think I'm gonna take some degreaser. Just hose it down. Oh, good. Power wash it eventually, but Jack's wanting to drive the car today. And if we power wash it, it's gonna have to sit for a few days because it'll really saturate it with water. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get the seat all wiped down, put it back in the car, and then we're gonna make a short at Donut Meadow. And here's that. This is Donut Meadow. Today we're gonna be doing donuts in the Ranchero test number one before we do any performance modifications. It's been a few days and we're back to work on the Ranchero. I ended up pulling the seat again and power washing it. If you wanna see that, we made a short on that, so go to our shorts. But the seat's looking pretty good. It's still a little bit dirty. If you have any tips to help me clean this off better, let me know, but I just used degreaser and power washed it all and it looks pretty decent. It's drying out here in the sun right now. But now we're going to power wash the whole car and get all this nasty, like, black stuff. I don't know if this will come off. And then, just overall clean the car. There's some black stuff. I think it's gonna look a lot better, especially on the top. It's really dirty on the top. Let's get after it. Third try the charm. Before and after on the roof, and you can see it on that hood down there.
we got the car all washed off and it looks a lot better it's not all the way clean there's still some grime i'll give you a quick walk around so there was a lot of grime on this these panels and we got a lot of that off but you can still see some of the grime especially on the hood you can definitely see that i don't know if there's a way to get that off maybe some special kind of sandpaper or something i don't know that probably just take the paint off these chips started to come off too when i was doing that so i didn't really hit that much same thing with all everything where the paint is chipping it started coming off when i would hit it directly and this hood came so clean it's like brand new paint brand new white on there overall it looks pretty good i don't know if we should eventually get some patina preserver or something or maybe even buff the car just let me know what you guys want to see we could get some patina preserver and make these stand out really good make the car this look really good or we could buff it i know that my dad buffed the last ranchero we had and it turned out really good but the paint was a lot better on that car i'll basically do whatever you guys want let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments so guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up one more thing, if anybody knows where I can get this piece of trim for this car, it looks just like this over here. I would love to purchase one. If you guys have a parts car or something sitting around, I would love to purchase that piece of trim. And maybe this piece of trim and a few of the interior stuff I probably need. If you guys just have a parts car laying around, hit us up. The email's in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.